Well, here we are, guys, and we're going to select a pay piece of paper. So we, you know, right-click and copy. And then what we will do is go into Publisher and Paste. Okay, and I'm just going to manoeuvre it, and I'm going to just place it wherever I need to and just enlarge it a little bit. Radio. And now I'm going back in and I'm going to select another page, another background paper. Uh, and voila, I've just made up my mind. So we're going to copy it and we're going back into Publisher. And we're going to right click so that the first page is not selected. Okay, and then we paste it. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to maneuver it into place uh, because I'm doing the layering effect just um, right clicking and bringing up those little black thingy majiggies so we can cut it down not shrink it just cutting it down okay and now what I'm doing is <clears throat> just changing um, by going down the bottom I'm changing the uh, look width of it to the same width as the back back page the first page we put down so I'm just figuring that out <laughs> this is my first time doing this over the top thing actually it's the first time I'm doing I'm using esvid esvid all right so now what are we doing just maneuvering putting it into place this is I uh, this is the new set um, now what are we gonna do we're gonna go and select um, what are we selecting? I've got no idea what we selected. I can't see this for peanuts. Um, elements, I think this is. This is all the extra elements that you can get in the set. This is Let Them Eat Cake from Raspberry Road Designs. Love it. It's gorgeous. The colours are just stunning and just oh, shabby and yummy. So I'm just sort of selecting. And I'm going to make sure that I've clicked off to the right, bring it down. Um, and I think what I do here is I play around with the shrinking and just to see what it's like. No, I've actually, aha, uh -huh, yes, I'm cutting it to the length of the, pa the width of the paper and then. I decide to shrink it just to see what it looks like. Hmm. Shrinking's not necessarily the go, um, if I remember rightly, and I wasn't quite happy with this, so I changed it. Um, shrinking can really be, depending on how you're shrinking it, if you're shrinking the overall picture, yep, yeah, it works, but if you're not shrinking, the overall picture it can get distorted looking and yeah so what I'm doing here is changing to the green bow and then I um, I cut it to the length width sorry um, just checking things and then I cut it up just to edge, to edge it. I didn't care if the bow ends were off the page. <clears throat> so what am I going to do? I'm think I'm just going back in and out, in and out, just getting bits and pieces, just to fill the page and just to show you layering effects. So really, it looks terrible to be honest. <laughs> it's not what I would do. Um, I mean that looks all right, but yeah. Anyway, I'm bringing in the next picture and I really like these sorts of things because you can shrink them and just stick them behind things and yeah with this one I'm just rotating them around um, there's the, and just playing the problem with with um, designs when you rotate and if, as you will see, as I go to, um, 
I'm not quite sure what's just happened. Oh, we just had a brain freeze. Anyway, um, as you'll see, <coughs> uh, computer's playing up. You won't be able to cut it on a like you can cut them down, but um, as you can see, the um, little flower off to the left, I can't cut it on an angle. It has to be cut on the square. So I got rid of it and going to find something else. If I don't make sense, you're, you're just going to have to leave a comment and ask me questions because, yeah. Um, let me see what happens now. Picking another one. Are these are uh, the clusters, um, which is like frames, and I really love. Now, see what happened there? Everything in the background is gone. That is when you must make sure that you right click so that your no other design on your page is selected, or else the next one that you copy out that you bring in will take it all up. It will go where whatever was selected prior so you make sure that nothing on your page is selected before you paste that design on <clears throat> I learned that after some frustrating times Ugh. so I'm just playing around now these are those frame ones if you wanted to you could paste your picture um, of you behind that frame if you like but I'm not putting a photo in I should do one with a photo um, but yeah okay so I'm just still playing around trying to figure out what to do here and I'm cutting it I like the size of it but I'm just cutting the little dangly bits off the sides because they actually do have quite wispy little bits and pieces off to the sides of the designs which aren't necessarily um, a big thing if you cut them off okay we're going into the word art now these are words and the thing that I like about this is that you layer them and all that white has gone so all you see is the actual word over the top of your background So I've right clicked over off to the right side so nothing's selected and then I paste it and I've picked the word beautiful I think it was and I'm just sizing it to stick it in the frame there. Just playing around, maneuvering. And I'm sending it back. See how it disappeared? Now I'm bringing it forward. That's what layering the layering does when you're placing things. I'll, I'll do it again somewhere along the line here somewhere. Um, but I'm going to grab, I think I grab something else here. Or oh, there, the lady. So not long now and I'll show you a couple more things and it'll be over. And if you need me to do um, another one, like I'll do a proper, proper page. But this is just showing you basics to get through, to get started. Now I've pasted her on top and she's quite large. But I didn't, I didn't make her smaller really. Um... I'm just sending her back and you'll see what happens when you send with each click of sending back. I've tucked her in behind the ribbon and the background paper and now I'm just cutting it so her dress doesn't hang out off the side and there you go. So that's positioning things and now I'm selecting something else and I don't know what yet because I can't remember this is a voiceover um, oh yeah I selected the clock because to really show you the layering um, what it does so we right click over to the we click on over at the side I'm bringing the clock behind all of this now so you'll see so I go sending it back with each click it sends you back through each of your layered designs and I've brought it forward again, reposition it to where I wanted, 
and I'm sending it back again and I've sent it right back so you could see if you click too far you go to the very back um what else is happening um yep just maneuvering things around sorry the computer keeps hissy fitting um yeah i think i try one more design i'm just copying and pasting between the two from your file and um just rotating it around just to see if I can get it to look different in the corner there. But I was getting a little frustrated because it wasn't working. So just trying to shrink it down. And rotating it just slightly. Maneuvering it. And there you go. So not quite sure what I'm going to do now. <laughs> there you go. I'm sending it back, but I didn't like it. So I brought it back forward. Um, I think this is pretty much it, guys. I sort of kind of... <clears throat> oh, no. Nah, I'm still going. Oh, my goodness. I brought in another design. Oh, well. You'll get again to see. I really like this one. And I'll probably use this when I do get to this set. I've got a couple of other sets I really want to do. But, um, yeah, I'm just playing around. Moving it back and forth with the design. Didn't move, shouldn't have moved her. It's very, when you're stuck and you can't select a design, bring it forward or send ones back. As you can see, I had to send her back to get a hold of that design, okay? Then position it and then uh, send things forward and back to where you want them. I'm not sure if that made sense. But this is just to give you a quick idea of what's going on. Um, 